down there. I wouldn't come here if I, even if I fucking I'm born and bred. I'm 25 and I wouldn't come here. How about that? Do you want your face on or not? Do you want your face on the BBC or not? No? At the moment you just talk to the mic, that's no, all, okay? Well, yeah, fine. Go in peace. I hope you have a better day today. You, you, you make me sad. But you make me happy because we're going to do so much better for people like you. We've got to, haven't we? What do you mean with that? Ah! Shout, shout, let it all out, okay? Just shout and let it all out. Peter. Let go. Do you want to be on camera, mate? Give me yeah, okay. Peter. You've got such a you've got such a heroic story, haven't you? Please tell the BBC your story. The BBC? The BBC, yeah, this is going to be on the BBC. This is going to be on the BBC. I'm a 47 year old man who spent 22 years almost on and off. And as you know, I'm finally making progress. I'm fighting keeping my legs, I'm fighting fucking getting life, I'm fighting getting a life together. Yeah? That you I'm are? still alive. I do all what pandemic, no pandemic. Even smile to the British public and a thank you for keeping us alive. Uh, Some people still love you, don't they, bro? And Carl, I just think you're such a hero because when you told me about you basically sacrificed your leg, I'm going to try and make sure the BBC is going to try and make sure that you don't lose your leg, okay? Because you were prepared to sacrifice your leg to help protect people who've got so much more than you by letting them go to hospital and you would stay away. And it's a pandemic on. But that's such a heroic gesture. It's unbelievable. It's not. I find that absolutely unbelievable. It's not, bro. I find that absolutely unbelievable that this guy has so little, is prepared to give up so much, and yet you face prejudice. Can I just say something? If there's a Mr. Norman Hamilton watching, please get in touch with this man here. I love you, Dad. Okay, so... What I'm more intrigued about is that... What do you say what's the Mungo's does? Yeah. Okay. Do you want to be on the BBC saying what's the Mungo's does? We've got a lady on the phone to the police here. Is, is that right? It's absolutely fine, yeah. You can do what you want. Bring it on. Nothing. Why would you? It'll be the third time that the police have come out to you. But I'll have a right stand with them. You only know that we're breaking into social distancing. Just be careful about social distancing. Come, let's go town it. Would you like to talk about some more? Listen, can you come up to the square with us?